and here are the parts for the new mill head mounting the square tubing here that is to be used as a mounting for the round column uh, round column uh, consisting of an 80 millimeter tube really i did not have any bolt and uh, as i point out here the length of this was really um, what was um, achievable on my uh, lathe uh, was a challenge to machine also but anyway this is now going to be located inside the square tubing there on top here and then just uh, fixated loosely uh, aligned and then later on of course then have ample let's say room for aligning it properly uh, i use these two plates uh, one plate to the this square foot and the other plate uh, like I demonstrate here into the casting um, or into the into let's say fixating it to the bed anchor it to the bed so that this will be how it looks like when assembled of course with the column on top there and then the plates uh, here aren't supposed to be just standalone like this but uh, to mimic let's say a cast iron bed i want to fill this void with epoxy granite again with the ribbing and a little bit more let's say uh, metal structure in there and then you i weld this plate uh, the loose plate there onto the square tubing and then uh, you know just uh, anchor it to the to the bolster tucking it down I am a lousy welder, hence all this is uh, quite, uh, let's say, in excess uh, material of what uh, or size of what is needed. But 16 millimeter bolts and this um, this design was what I thought was, uh, let's say, best from a sturdiness point of view. And I needed this uh, to be, of course, a proper alignment. Uh, so I will then have a little bit slack in uh, in how I make it so I can then later on adjust but just loosely now uh, try to align it as good as possible um, when I cast the epoxy and here we have the foot and column assembled and fixated and also the uh, bolts plates everything put together and uh, now I'm going to start to work with the epoxy at this point first of all roughing up the casting ribbing and then uh, closing up uh, the uh, sealing up here and then pouring the epoxy and here is of course situation after the epoxy is poured you can see the wooden plates uh, used to hold in uh, the cavity there and then uh, sealant of course still it leaked quite a lot and then bolts everything snug down of course before painting also showing the fixation screws i used to align the column and here it is uh, assembled and uh, base painted i used the spindle for alignment purposes and uh, this will be sufficient for now and here are the plates so to say unwrapped they are milled and then scraped and the holes are a bit sloppy to allow for alignment and here of course the foot and column um, it may be needed to uh, let's say um, test the flatness uh, at the bottom there or also then to adjust so um, that's why a modular design is okay and the bed of course as it looks now um, I needed to have this uh, foot as uh, far back as is shown of course because of the spindle alignment to the let's say the center of the bed in and out that is and then of course uh, from side to side I uh, have now allowance for quite a long stroke and then the bed uh, from the underneath of course uh, everything needs to be flat and, and tight and the column uh, sits uh, supported by itself um, just aligned to the bed and then tucked down so the bed is not distorted in any way so here we have the structure or assembly um, short explanation here 
Um, I've, uh, of course, you now filled in uh, the whole thing with the uh, epoxy granite, the bed and the foot and the bridge piece between them, and the m column is mounted also in, in um, epoxy granite. And um, the critical part here, the uh, two plates that bridge over are scraped to um, a certain good alignment and fit. And uh, the head that rides up and down the column can now be adjusted sideways uh, with these sloppy holes. Uh, and then in and out is uh, governed by the, let's say, how good I've scraped the plates. I also measured the deflection, measuring at the tip of the spindle and then uh, pushing as hard as possible on top of the column. I got around 400 of a millimeter deflection. This can be improved by also then securing the top of the column, for example, to the headstock.